Tower of Hanoi puzzle is a puzzle where we move this tower from one location to one of these other two designated locations. You can only move the pieces one at a time, and they have to move to one of the designated locations. So you can only move them one at a time. And also, you have to put smaller pieces on top of larger pieces. You cannot put this piece, for example, on top there because this piece is smaller underneath. Now, you don't always have to have the pieces in order. For example, I have this small piece here, and I can put that on top of this one. That's fine. As long as it's a smaller piece on top of a larger piece, you're good to go. Let's take the Tower of Hanoi and we're going to break it down into bite-sized pieces. We're going to start with three. The Tower of Hanoi puzzle has us move a stack from one place to another. So let's start with three. When you're given three pieces, this is the basic pattern that you'll follow. You'll move one to where you want the stack to eventually go. The second piece will move off to the side. Stack up that there. And then this piece goes here. And then we can move the stack. So that's how we would move the stack from one place to another. I'm going to move this back to the center just to repeat sort of a similar pattern that you'll see repeated over and over and over again. There. So that's the way we move three. So if we want to move four over to here, we're going to follow the same pattern. We'll move the three now to this side, then the four will go over, and then we'll move the three again to there. That would look like this. I move my three over here, then my four goes there, and then this pile of three goes again here. Like that. To move a pile of five from the center over to this side, I would move three here, then four would go over there, then five would go over here. And with each step, it's getting a little bit more complicated. To move this back to here, now I'm going to move three to there and put the four over top. With a stack of six, you start seeing a recurring pattern. That when I wanted to move three here, I started by moving my one there, and then I got three here. Four then was over here, five is here, and six will be over there. So you see this pattern of even and odd numbers. Whoa. So if I put the stack of three here, the stack of four will go there. Five, six, seven, eight, and that pattern will continue. So if I have a stack of six and I want it to end here, I would have to think I'm going to start three will go here, four, five, then six, and it would look like this. My stack of three would move to there, four would go over there, five would go here, and then I have to do three here to go to there, and then this six would go here. Now I have to move this entire stack over here, which would mean three going there, four going in the middle, five going here, then three's going over there, four's going on top, and four's going there. And remember, each time I grab these top three and move them, it's a process, it's that same steps, you know, those several steps that I showed before of moving them. So it's going to be a lot of repetition. I have to move it from here. Now that I have seven, I will move them three here, and then four will go here, five will go here, six will go here, and seven will go here. There's going to be a lot of repetition in this. Just think about it, even in just this last move, 
where I just grabbed the stack of six and moved it over there, that meant me remembering I'm moving six. So I'm going to go three here, four here, five here, which means doing this and then moving this one over and then doing that same process. Whoops. Here. And I'm simplifying it by moving three at a time. With eight, you're going to follow the same steps, only I would start over here and go three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and they would all end up stacking here. And now we have nine. So I'm going to show you the entire solution moving every single piece with nine, and you'll see that pattern. Four on this side, five there.
There is the full solution. The tower moved from this location to this location. If that was a good puzzle and you enjoyed that solution, I have the links below for similar puzzles you'll probably enjoy. Have a wonderful day.